Hey guys, it's Mrs. Mahalik here. Today we are talking about physical changes and chemical changes. So what we're talking about basically is a physical change is something that we can see physically, a change that physically changes something. So here's a piece of paper. If I decide to rip it, I've changed this paper physically. It's an example of a physical change because it's still paper. I can still write on it. Now, if I take this cookie, right, this breakfast cracker, and I break it, which I just did because it just flung all over the place. If I break this cookie, it's still a cookie. It's still very delicious. However, if I take this match and strike it, not like that, like that, take this match and strike it, this is a chemical change. It's burning the end here. If I put it out, I cannot change this back. It's ruined. I can't use it again. I can't strike it again. Chemical change. Bonds are broken and new ones have formed. I can't turn this back. That's an example of a chemical change. So if I would take this match, like another one here, another chemical change. If I take that same paper that I ripped earlier and I set it on fire and I burn it, right? I cannot change this back. Take a look at that. That is ruined. I can't write on this part of the paper anymore because it has changed chemically. Same would happen if I take that cookie and burn it, but I won't. So instead what I'm doing is digesting the cookie. The next time I see that cookie, it's going to look a lot different from this cookie, and it's something that I can't change back. So digestion is another example of a chemical change. And thanks for watching Crystal in Science.